Some people think your success is measured by the amount of intelligence you have. Life has taught me it's not about that. It's about working hard towards your goal, never quitting until you get there. Don't stop till you get there. Let's pass. Hello, if you're watching this recorded, please press the pause button, try to do it. Press the pause button, try to do it. Always try to do the exercises before seeing the explanation. That way you can learn better. Um, so we have this exercise. Before talking about the exercise, you have to know the formula of volume of a cylinder to even do it. If you don't know the formula, you cannot solve it. So let's talk a little bit about the formula. Now, let's draw a cylinder. A cylinder is kind of a can. We can think of a can of soup or a can of soda. Now, I wanted to explain where the formula comes from. If you learn where something comes from, you'll keep it in your head longer. Now, first off, this bottom part is called a circle, right? You can see that this part is a circle. So when you get the volume of a cylinder, you want to know how much liquid fits inside or what's the capacity inside of that three dimensional figure. That's volume. Volume is capacity inside of a three dimensional figure. Now, because the bottom part is a circle, we would think of area of this circle. Area of a circle is pi r exponent two. That is area of a circle. So we have all the space. And now if we wanna know how much liquid fits inside, just imagine a lot of circles, keep, keep getting more circles, more circles, more circles. So technically we would be getting all these circles inside. It's like multiplying times the height. You're getting that height. So volume of a cylinder, you're going to get the area of the circle in the bottom and then multiply it by the height to get how much space fits inside. Now, why do I say this? Because a lot of people know this formula, area of a circle. And if you want to get volume of a cylinder, of a cylinder, it's kind of the same formula. The only thing is that you have to multiply times the height to know how much is going to fit inside of all of it. Now that we have that in mind, it was just explaining where the formula comes from. Let's see it in action. So whenever they ask for volume of a cylinder, pi r exponent two times h, where r is gonna be your radius, h is gonna be your height, and uh, pi is approximately 3.14. By definition is what we call a constant, a constant number that is always gonna be 3.14. So in the exercise, they're saying they want the volume of a cylinder that has a radius of seven inches. So the radius is gonna be seven inches. The height is gonna be 2.5 inches. And uh, pi, we know by definition is 3.14. Now, when you have nothing in between letters, that's called a multiplication. So we have pi, that's 3.14, multiplied by seven exponent two, multiplied by 2.5. We have to use the rule of PEMDAS. PEMDAS is parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, add, and subtract, what we call the order of operations. First, you have to do any operation inside of parentheses. We do not have operations inside of the parentheses. Then we would do exponents. Yes, we have exponents, six, six, seven exponent two. The exponent tells you how many times you multiply the base by itself. Because it's an exponent two, you're gonna multiply two times by itself. Seven times seven, that would be 49. We lower the rest. We lower the rest. Now we would just have to do the multiplications. 3.14 times 49. Nine times four, 36, carry the three. 9 times 1, 9 plus 3, 12, carry the 1. 9 times 3, 27 plus 1, 28, space. 4 times 4, 16, carry the 1. 4 times 1, 4 plus 1, 5. 4 times 3, 12. You add this up, 6, 2 plus 6, 8. 8 plus 5 is going to be 13. Carry the 1. 2 plus 2, 4 plus 1, 5. 1 plus 0, 1. 2 back to forward, 153.86, 
times 2.5 and we would be done. Five times six, 30, carry the three. Five times eight, 40, plus three, 43. Five times three, 15, plus four, 19, carry the one. Five times five, 25, plus one, 26, carry the two. Five times one, five, plus two, seven. Space, two times six, 12, carry the one. Two times eight, 16, plus one, 17, carry the one. Two times three, six, plus one, seven. 2 times 5, 10, carry the 1. 2 times 1, 2, plus 1, 3. You add it up, 0. 2 plus 3, 5. 9 plus 7 is going to be 16. Carry the 1. 7 plus 7, 14. Carry the 1. 7 plus 1, 8. 3 plus 0, 3. Now you count the decimals. 1, 2, 3 spaces. So you're going to move 3 spaces forward. 1, 2, 3. 384.65, zero. We're gonna look at what is the closest option to that. So it's gonna be 385, because if this number is five or bigger, it'll round it up, so it rounds up to 385. 385 cubic inches. So I hope you guys understand this one. 385 cubic inches volume of a cylinder.